So we see here, uh, you are getting a little buildup when we take the valve apart. That's that slimy stuff that's inside here. There's the injector right there. This is in the valve, taking the valve apart, and you can see all the white slime right there and the sulfur dust that gets caught inside of the, the, the unit itself. So we're gonna open it up and see what it looks like. So I went ahead and took the, uh, the unit off of the bypass here, and you can see the slime coming from the well itself. All right, so you can see, hold that up. See, if you look close enough, you can see all the slime building up. That slime is a sulfur bacteria, okay? It's all in the upper basket. That slime is inside this tank, as you can see, look at it all in there. Um, this is what's coming from the well itself, so we're gonna need to sterilize and sanitize everything. All right, so now we're gonna take a look inside your pipes here. So this is the water coming into the house. You know, it's algae and things growing inside the pipe. What we should do is sanitize all your water lines. They do actually make ultraviolet lights to kind of prevent that from happening. Um, plus, a sanitation itself will address that. A UV light will prevent any algae or bacteria. All right, you got some ants here. These ants will get in your switch and they'll cause you to have no water. So you definitely want to treat for these ants. Um, they haven't got in here yet, but they will. Also, you can see your switch is getting kind of rusty. Right there, it'll cause your pump to run longer if your switch gets stuck. Um, we like to change them out when they start to get rusty, so that's not a big deal, but you should change it out before. It could make your pump go bad. Same thing with the ants. They usually happen on the weekend or after hours um, when you, at least you don't want it to happen. So if you treat for ants, that'll prevent that from happening. So this is in your well in your backyard. Looks pretty good. Nothing out of the ordinary. Uh, one thing that I uh, that you're going to need to do is you're going to need to sanitize your well. You put chemicals in the well and recirculate the water and let it uh, recirculate so that way you sanitize everything in the well. From the casing down, from the water level down, uh, your pressure tank's good, your silver filter is functioning, your water softener is functioning. Um, the biggest thing is you're getting that slime, that's what's called sulfur bacteria inside of there. There's a couple different ways you, you can prevent it. Uh, sanitizing the well is going to stop it, but once you get it, it's going to continue to come back. So you should sanitize your well once a year, but there's a special chemical solution tank that'll help keep that under control. The chemical solution tank's 150 bucks, um, and that'll always put chemicals in here. Both of these valves here said uh, it's time for service, um, so which means it's time to clean them. So you definitely want to clean the inside of these. Once you clean them, uh, the chemical solution tank is going to keep the sulfur filter nice and clean. We got your pipes glued back together. Uh, so system's working, you just got some buildup problem. Also sanitize the house lines. So where we cut right there, had all that green stuff, sanitize and sterilize the water uh, lines, hot and cold and water heater. Um, then if you add the ultraviolet light, it'll prevent that uh, from building up with bacteria and uh, you'll never have bacteria in your water. Um, um, hepatitis A, uh, E. coli, coliform, cryptosporidium, guardia, um, and uh, basically it'll just keep your family safe. Uh, give us a call, 239-201-2074, to get some of these repairs done so we can get your water not smelling anymore.